Hello, Lopez Academy students and families. It's Dr. Carroll, your principal here at Lopez Academy, welcoming you back for another school year. We're so excited. Many of you we have never met before, and we can't wait to meet you tomorrow and show you around our campus. So what I have today are just a few tips, a few information pieces that are going to make your first day of school and your first week of school a little bit smoother. So thank you for taking the time to watch this short video, as it will help you tomorrow. All right. First of all, we're gonna talk about how you enter our campus. All of our students enter from the front of our campus on Hill Street. You will see we have large gates um, that say Dr. Lopez Academy at the top. You will go through that middle arch um, that has that name. All students will go in that way. Our gates do open at 8 a.m., but we do discourage students from arriving that early um, as our day doesn't start until 8.40. So please um, try not to come in more till closer to 8.30, but if you get here a little bit before that, um, just know that all students that are on campus before 8.30 are in the cafeteria. We will have breakfast for everybody tomorrow, of course, and every day. Um, as you enter the middle gate, you will see our cafeteria on your left, and there will be an adult there to help direct you as well. All right, let's talk about student schedules. So I know a lot of you have questions about how do you get your student schedule? How do you find your way around? So that's what we're going to talk about now. So when you enter our campus tomorrow, when you walk through the gate that you can see here that says Dr. Lopez Academy, we're going to have three or four different walls that have information on them um, by grade level. So basically, you're going to go up to any of those displays. You're going to find your first name and last name, and it's going to tell you what your first period class is. It's going to tell you just that one class, your first period class. So it could be room 503 or room 701. Whatever your room is, you're going to go to that room when the bell rings, and you will get your full class schedule from there. That first class you go to is going to be your advisory class. So you'll get your, your whole schedule in there as well as a map of our school. So when you come in, find out what your first period is. Once you're there, you will get a copy of that schedule. Uh, we have lots of adults. You'll see myself, our assistant principals, our counselors, our teachers, our campus supervisors will all be out and about to help you find your way around our school. Don't worry, we know our campus is big and if you're a little bit late because you get a little bit lost the first day or two, it is not a problem. Our job is to help you find where you need to be. So don't stress about that. Find an adult and ask them with any questions that you have about getting to class. All right, you can see our school map here. This is also on our website. Um, so as you um, look at your student schedule tomorrow, or you can actually also find your student schedule now in Stu in Q Student Connect if you want to. This tells you where you're at. So one hint, if you are a sixth grader, um, new to our campus a sixth grader, your classes are probably going to be towards the back of our school by the basketball courts. Most of our sixth grade students are in the 1600 portables or in the 600 or 700 wings. Don't worry, we'll help you find your way, but no sixth graders, you're going to walk in and probably go all the way towards the back of the school. We'll help you find your spot. If you notice, our school is arranged in rows. So all these classrooms in the front here are the 300s and the 400s and the 500s and so on. Don't worry about finding your way around. We will help you get to your spot and you will learn your new schedule quickly. All PE classes, so no matter what time of the day you have PE, all of your PE classes will meet on the back field area. There's a big blacktop area with uh, basketball courts back there. So that's where you'll meet your PE teachers and they'll show you where you need to sit down each day for your PE class. All right, we just have a few important reminders for day one and as we continue into our new school year. Um, as I said, all students will go to their period one class tomorrow. You'll walk in, you'll find your name in your period one class. And in that period one class, you'll get a copy of your whole schedule. Uh, make sure you don't lose that schedule. You don't want to lose that because then you'll have to come ask us for another one. So treat that schedule. Be very careful with it. That's going to be important until you memorize all of your classes. All students must wear a mask at all times while you are inside of our school. That means inside of a building. So in a classroom, in a locker room, in the library, in the cafeteria, if you are inside, you must wear a mask. If you're outside, it is optional. So during PE time, during break time, it is optional to wear a mask, but you are required at all times to wear them while you're inside our school. Um, please make sure that you bring your mask from home with you. If you are in need of a mask, come to the office and let us know, but we wanna encourage you to bring a mask from home. Um, and make sure that you keep it throughout your day. Uh, masks should cover your entire mouth and your nose like this, not like this, like this. They should cover your mouth and your nose at all times. The better job we do of wearing masks appropriately and being safe, the more safe our students and our staff will be. So thank you. Um, and remember, if you forget a mask or your mask breaks, you need to let an adult know and we'll get you another one. Our school day, the first bell rings at 8.40 for you to go to class. Our school day runs until 3.13. 3.13 in the afternoon, 
um, is the end of the school day. When the bell rings at the end of the day, you will walk to the front of the school and you will exit and either walk home, find your ride, or catch a bus if you are coming on a bus. That's at 313. So that's very important. You are required to leave campus right away at 313 unless you are enrolled in our after school program. Last reminder, don't forget to bring that iPad. As you know, iPads are very important. Every one of our students has one. Make sure you bring it fully charged. You will be using it on the first day of school. All right, that's pretty much it for your first day reminders. We are so excited to see you um, and start a brand new school year at Lopez Academy. I look forward to seeing all of you tomorrow. And in the meantime, if you have any questions, students, you can message me in Canvas. Um, parents, feel free to call our office if you have any questions. We also want to encourage our parents to follow us on social media. You can find a page for us in Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook. We also have a YouTube page that we post lots of videos to, so you can keep informed on what's going on at Lopez Academy. So that's all for now. We can't wait to see you tomorrow and make it a first great week of school.